presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Homosassa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We have a 98% gain in a year. And uh, I mean, you weren't 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good gain there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I lose a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Hi, folks. Basil Chapman sitting in for the Tom O'Brien Show. I usually do the twelve o'clock, the ten o'clock show in the morning. It's called the Tiger Technicians Hour, ten to eleven o'clock, and it's my pleasure today to sit in for Tom O'Brien. My honor, actually, to be here. And we're looking up the charts over there. I didn't do the charts for the update, 3 p.m. update. Sorry about that. I thought everything was set. All right, you got the charts. And on the left side here, you can see this is the Dow Daily, this is the Dow Weekly, and this is the Dow Monthly chart based on the Chapman Wave methodology with all these notations. Let's just go through these one at a time because it is the beginning of the week, and it's a really important week because we're getting close to the end of October. I have a theory that when the Dow manages to close October, having gone through September, October, which is usually a, a difficult time in the market, if it manages to close towards the high of the year or at a high of the year, that's usually very positive. It says that for the entire year that you're following, in this case 2021, the December 31st close should be close to an all-time high. Wow, that's a statement. But that's kind of the way I generally look at the markets over the years. And we'll see if that's going to be the case here. Now, let's go through this one at a time. What we had here in the Dow is an all-time high of 35,631 on the 16th of August. It comes tumbling down 2,000 points to 33,613 on the 20th of September, a little, a little bit more than a month later. And then what does it do? It keeps bumping to this uh, technique that I call here. It's called the Chapman Wave Inside track repellents and you see this little mini channel here green because if it goes above it's very good if it stores it the pink line it just it gets repelled it's called the, the repellent zone and what happens it gets repelled repelled and then all of a sudden on friday it just breaks well thursday closes at the line right on the line and then th friday it closes sharply higher and today we've made even a higher high than on friday we went to 35,327 do you realize that that is just 300 points under uh, 310, let's say, uh, off an all-time high, there should be an attempt to get to that high. One of the reasons why we, we, we remain long for subscribers to my opening call, my daily news there, is that we've been long since the, basically the start of the low that was October the 20, March the 23rd of 2020. We went long options, and about a week later, we went into the diamonds, and we held those options for quite a while, took them off very, very, you can imagine, huge gains. And we stayed in the diamonds. We've taken a little bit, two little bits off. But in the meantime, it, we went short just off the all-time high. And then as it came down, we took profits. And then we kept trying to try to trade the diamonds on the upside. And that's kind of the way we play. We are long right now. We're trying to play it to see if there's a good chance of at least testing the 35,600s all-time high. Why? Because the pattern, there's a cup pattern, but it's also a rectangle pattern. Now, I'm going to be discussing those in great detail. Let me just show you right here. If you go to the front page of TFNN, you'll see Basil Chapman presents what to prepare for into year's end and what sectors to focus on. I always have these webinars a few times a year at really important key points. And it's a webinar for the opening call subscribers. You can become a subscriber. And in fact, if you become a subscriber, you have 30 days. You can get money back guarantee. If you don't like it, you can just say, I don't like it. You get your money back. No questions asked. But in fact, you get my daily newsletter. You get just between 6 and 12, it depends on how you want to do it, uh, archived webinars. You get the webinar that we're going to do tomorrow night, 4 o'clock to 5.30. Uh, you can go over it as many times as you want. And not only that, 
what are we going to talk about? It's really important for me. We're going to discuss. We're going to review all our positions. We only have long positions now. We have no short positions. Um, and they, some of them have done really well in a very short period of time. We're talking about the and the patterns anticipated for the coming two to three months of 2021 into 2022. Sectors, stocks, currencies, yields, commodities, Bitcoin. We are still long from the 12,000 uh, area, the GBTC. And equivalent to 12,000 in, in the Bitcoin. And you can imagine now the huge, huge gains and we have just a little bit left and uh, still long. Um, so we talk about that plus other other areas. Uh, what about alternate harvest, the, the, the cannabis sector? Is that getting ready to go? What are we looking for before that really starts to pick up strength? Um, chart formations, Chapman wave techniques. It's like a, it's like a lesson in 90 minutes plus we have already started preparing by buying uh, certain areas that we think are very important going to the next, the, the November, uh, or certainly part of October, November, December period. Uh, so we're already implementing the plan and you can join us and uh, there's still plenty of time. Discuss the patterns of many charts that we will be looking at as part of our watch and buy list and possible shorts. We also have a little screamer list every once in a while. We get a single digit stock and we try to see for how how quickly it can move up and we have a special plan for that. All right, enough with that. Here we go. The weekly chart is just about to break out. You've got to wait till the end of the week. Last week was a good week, just above the resistance line in the Dow. And the monthly chart has made a peak D. It's at that fourth highest peak, peak D, that other things can happen. Let's just get all this done before we get our first break. SPX.X, that's the S&P 500. We did a one-to-one -one breakout. That's really important. We're up 13 at 1382 at 4484 uh, in the S&P. There's a chance that now I can start to think of this both as, as a rectangle formation, look, there it is, as well as a lopsided gravy cup. I call it the gravy cup because it isn't a unified left side, right side price match. But you got yourself a beautiful arch on the left side and the right side's coming together. So it says, hey, if this continues strong, there's a chance we get close. So what happens when we get to the double tops? If we do, that's a whole nother thing. And we'll be discussing that in great detail tomorrow. Let's go to the QQQ, which has finally broken out nicely, broke out Friday a little bit. And today it's have a really good follow through. It's up 3.33 at 372. Look, one to one to the upside. Now I can start to draw this in. I'll do it during the break. I won't do it. I hope I remember. It's got a one to one. It's already done the one to one in a very conservative way. That can be extended. We'll talk about that as soon as we get back. Now the key supports are that, that downtrend, the little channel that I call the inside track repellent zone. That's now a propellant zone. All of this is now support at any point if there's a sudden downturn this week. And we're looking at the IWM, which has been stuck in a range, still stuck in a range, down 26 at 224.19. Let's just get to gold quickly. Gold is uh, trading down to at 1766. Um, this is a pattern that I'll be discussing tomorrow night. It's, this, um, it's a pattern that we start to see a sharp pull, uh, decline and then rising highs and much rising lows and much higher highs and then it turns down sharply that's the gdx down just 15 cents gdx is telling us that the gold miners are saying this is a little bit more depth than other rallies in gold this is something a little more serious i'll be back in a moment else chap is sitting in for the one and only tom o'brien be back and the dow is down 40 uh down sorry down 60 SBs up 12. be right back Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right. 
information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500 plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi folks, we're back. Miles and Jeff, sitting here for Tom O'Brien. This is the Tom O'Brien Show at 877-927-6648. Number to call. But we've got a couple of questions in the Tiger YouTube. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, is this live? Yep, this is live, Deb. And uh, we've got a question. Kenneth wants to know about Macy's. Oh, don't even mention Macy's. Every time I look at it, I say, what an easy buy this was. For months, you could have got it down in the five and six area, Macy's retail. Well, you know what? It was down in the at $4.38. $4.38 was the low in April of 2020. It is now on the day up $4.16. It is now up in points as much as it was worth a little uh, what is over a year and a half ago so it's a 2821 and the question is uh, do you have time to look at macy's we made time thank you uh, m is up 17 percent at this particular point yep 17 percent still i uh, wondering if just hold or take some more so this is you know whenever this happens whenever i get a call to my show the tiger donations hour or someone just asks me generally should I be taking something off? As soon as you ask the question, it means that in your mind, some part of the intellectual side is saying, are you crazy? Just just the other day, this is a stock that was at around about 22, 23. Did you know that when you woke up this morning, it would be at 28? <sighs> what, what should I do? I don't want to be greedy, but I also don't want to take off the position and try to get back in. Well, why don't you make the compromise? This is what I always recommend. Take a little bit off. Just, you don't have to rush. You've got 10, 15, 20 minutes. It doesn't even have to be today. It could be tomorrow. Just say to yourself, this is a spectacular move. It's broken out of the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone in this U-shaped pattern, a double U-shaped pattern, quicker in the second part than it was in the first. The MACD's just crossed positive. Stochastic's okay, 52%. On balance volume says that it's a little overbought. It should be having a little bit of a pullback, a little bit of a pullback, and the relative strength is just fantastic. This is the daily. The weekly chart, I could say the same thing. So what I am going to say to you is, look, just you're in a position you want to hold the position because it's in play. Anything that's acting this well right now is in play right now. It says this is where money is going. Don't fight the trend. The tide is going higher. It's going in an uptrend. So this is what I'm going to suggest. Just in your own mind, say, you know, I've got X amount. 
if I took off just a little bit to reward myself and just say, hey, thank you, trading gods. That's just an amazing thing that you did for me today. There's nothing wrong with that because if it keeps going up, you still have a good position. There's no problem. And if it suddenly pulls back, you now have the decision, maybe 5% lower or 7, 8% lower to put that money back again. So take a little bit off, just enough for you to say, I'm not, I don't want to get out of the position. I want to hold the position. I just want to reward myself. What's that reward worth? 2%, 3 I don't know, whatever it is. Make up your mind. I'm saying, take a little bit off right here. And if it keeps soaring, that's fantastic. If you don't get a chance to put your money back, that little bit that you take off back in, big deal. It's going to be going much higher. That's why you can't get in. And if it does pull back, you get a chance to put that money back and you could have saved yourself a couple of points. And that's just a nice way to do it. And it's not only that, rewarding yourself, rewarding the stock, checking your office, saying, hey, nice job, Macy's. And also at the same time, giving yourself the, 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 the opportunity to enjoy the breakout from the previous highs, which were down in the 22s back in March of this year. And it took quite a while to make that arch formation that turns into the big rectangle cup formation to break out like this. And now I have it as an F in the weekly, but it doesn't act like an F. And actually, it, it, it looks even stronger. But it's in a C early in the game in the year in the monthly chart. Hope that helps you. And all I can say is congratulations. Fabulous. I love I love to hear that because you got in and you are just your own. Your own ingenuity is telling you that was a great entry. And at the same time, it's saying, but you can have a little bit of a safety factor here by taking something off. Nothing wrong with that. All right. Next thing. Next question is uh, GDX. GDX. Uh, what was the question? Um, I, did I get it? Uh, Basil, GDX pulling back today on extreme light volume seems like a good place to take a long position. However, the Bitcoin ETF hysteria tomorrow may cause uh, gold to get slapped down. Your thoughts? Okay, so look, GDX, based on my work, when the stochastic gets over 80%, certainly when it gets to 93%, this is the gold miner vectors the ETF, and the MACD is very strong. The unbalanced volume is okay, not great, but I, I like it this way because it's just okay. It's not overbought. The nine period is way above the 14 period in the daily. The weekly needs a lot of work, but it's done the one to one to the downside of the travel wave falling axe formation. I'll be talking about that in greater detail tomorrow in my webinar. And it's done an arch formation, the dreaded H in the monthly chart, and it needs a lot of work. But the daily is what needs the weekly, and the weekly needs the monthly. So let's see if the daily can get to a leg D. So I'm going to answer you by saying, if you look, you compared it, so I'll do the same. Bitcoin is trading now, it was making a peak C. Yep, today's young, it's still got 35 minutes to go. It could still do it, but I don't think it's going to get to uh, the high of, of Friday of 63,525. So I'm suggesting this is probably a peak C and the technicals here are even stronger than in the GDX. Look, he has the beautiful cup formation with a Chapman Wave inside wedge target resistance line. Remember, I drew this in. Subscribers know because we are along the GDX and we are along the Bitcoin. So these are all techniques that we use. Uh, a Bitcoin trading at 61,520 right now. Yeah, I can't remember. Is this where the ETF comes tomorrow uh, to the market? I'm not sure. I think that's what it is. But based on this, it should still make a leg D. Maybe it's intraday tomorrow. It just pops to the upside. And then you've got your left side all time high of 66,310. Remember, that's where we were taking profits all the way up there. And uh, Mr. A really good re entry for the, the profit side of it. We still have a core, small core position. I think it's still going to go to a leg D in the monthly above 66,310. So I don't know how to put that together because the market will t decide for us. But what I'm going to say to you is that GDX is acting quite nicely. Bitcoin is acting fantastically, but it's just about to bump into the resistance. Resistance, of course, uh, 5,000 points. <laughs> Normally you'd say 5,000 points. Well, the 5,000 points is just about 9%. So it's not a big deal for this. At the same time, if you're looking at the GDX, I think that just a starter position right now on GDX because the dollar is still acting well, to think that it could get to the 33s from 32, 35, so as a, just a trade, 
I think you've missed the best opportunity risk reward wise. So I'm just going to say to you, if you think if you want to do it rather with options, that makes much more sense buying a call. Uh, you know exactly what you can lose. In this particular instance, I do not want to see gold suddenly take a beating tomorrow for whatever reason. Um, but so far, every time, even Friday when it was down huge, the GDX held very nicely. So I'm trying to do two things at once. So let me just s summarize it by saying I would start a small position in GDX if you've done your homework and you like it and you're only looking for an entry price. But I do think that you need to have, I, it might be too much, but I would go 32, 34, and I'd have a 40 cent, uh, just a, a 40 cent or 45 cent uh, um, stop. And what I would do is if it pops tomorrow, I'd raise it. I want to see it get to the peak D, a leg D. If it gets to a leg D and then the peak D below the previous peak, that's not good. That's what we do. Get back. Basil Chapman. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman sitting here for the one and only Tom O'Brien. It's my pleasure to be here. Let me just show you high-grade high copper. High-grade copper is probably making a leg D right now. In the Chapman Wake methodology, remember, we, we, we articulate them by... On the upside, you go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, uppercase, 
to for each peak and on the downside use lowercase on the upside it's at that fourth highest peak peak d that other things can happen that's where you got to be prepared it could recycle higher it could have a deeper pullback so this is very important because the macd in the high grade copper is really strong stochastic's fantastic at 93 percent on balance volumes a little bit overbought so i suspect there could be some kind of a pullback so i want to put this together kind of with the, as a commodity a look so high grade copper uh, 4.8975 in the continuous contract was the high back in uh, April, May, probably in May, and then it pulled back very sharply to just under four, and now it's run back all the way to 4.8230, which is today's high. And um, I suspect there will be a leg C above that peak that was made back in May. Uh, I don't know if we have to wait a little bit for it, but there should be a higher high. And that's really talking to the whole idea of copper being part of the vernacular of the economies of different countries that means things there is some growth there so this is to me is a good sign i always put it together with wood as i showed my subscribers over the weekend uh with the chart of the timber and forestry etf i made a peak d in the daily around about september the third or so at about 92 and it pulled back quite sharply to the 83s it's trying to really so stuck in the, an h pattern that goes to an m pattern sideways action not breaking up and not breaking down we got to watch this because it's the timber and forestry etf the iShares global timber and forestry etf down 98 cents at 85.84 today so i like to put them together and that says that this is starting to lag somewhat and the high-grade copper is starting to show some acceleration. Does it has, is it do with batteries? Is it, what does it have to do with? Well, we don't really know. Let's try to put commoditization. Let's try to put this all together in a package because you've got the semiconductors are, uh, are finally acting quite nicely here, breaking out to the upside above the resistance line, up 172 at 264.30. Well, if you look at the monthly chart, 276.69 was the all-time high. Big deal, you're at 10 points lower, 12 points lower. What's that? That's nothing. But if you're making lower lows and lower highs based on the weekly chart, if you're lagging, it says that this economy isn't 100% yet. And let's just go to a stock like a GE, which still has mostly, sorry, GM, I meant a GM, which has mostly uh, 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 gas cars, not, not battery operated, but that's improving. So it's made a peak effort, it's pulling back. And it's in the big arch formation. It is off all the most recent high in the uh, almost at, at the uh, six, what was that 60 64ish area pulls down to. <laughs> this is after being at 14.33 in March. That's a spectacular move. So General Motors, uh, I don't know if they have their 2022 products in stock yet. I think a lot of companies are waiting. They don't have them. So if you put that together with uh, Ford, uh, and Ford is continued rallying. Uh, EFG. This is a recycle. This could be a brand new C at 16.16 16 on Friday, and now it's at 15.56. It says maybe this the chip the chip aspect is getting closer to the end than the middle, and if that's the case, if these automobile and I'll be talking about this tomorrow in my webinar at four o'clock for subscribers, we're at four to five thirty. What if during this whole, uh, probably I'd have to say global chip meltdown, so many areas have been able and successful to get the chips. Or to ha or what if all of a sudden we, we're looking at a potential, maybe even a glut coming in January or February? So if you look at this, yes, applied materials off its high, but stuck in that range, 146 round number all time high back in uh, in April. And look, it's just stuck in the range. Nothing to see here that's terrible. Holding well. Surely these are the stocks NVIDIA. So they've been doing something right. NVIDIA broke out of that resistance level. It's up 378 at 222. 240.33 was the all time high in August. I th what I think we're looking at here is that there's a chance that all the bad news has just been pounded and pounded into the market. And that we're actually looking more at the light at the end of the tunnel. And hopefully it's not CSX, the freight train coming down. Oh, look, even that CSX, almost at an all time high. Yeah, so I'm looking at this and I'm trying to be as objective as possible. And I have to tell you that I see a lot more positives 
the negatives. One of the reasons why we only now have long positions, we've kept our core positions that were had fabulous gains, and they pulled back, but they pulled back compared to where they came from. This is nothing. I, I must say, I, it's a, I think a lot of people are going through the same thing. If you hear the news, if you look at the news, if you hear the, if you read the news, you, you could be scared out of your wits. And yet, if you look at the stock market, um, look at this. This is CSX. This is the rails. Let's look at the IYT. Look at the IYT, which is the transports. Big divergence between the Dow making all-time highs back in August or even getting close to them right now, 200 points away, and the IYT, which is quite a bit off its all-time high of 287, the iShares Dow Jones Transportation Average, uh, at 260. So this is a good sign. And if you look at jets, I mean, of all things, if jets, the U.S., um, airline index, global jets, ETF, is still holding quite nicely above its lows, which was back in 21.33. It held, hit 25s just about two weeks ago. It's now 23.40. This is saying no, everything's not great, but things are actually a little bit better than they were. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapasini for Tom O'Brien. And the Dow is now down 59. We'll be back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, 
as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. C call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Well, Brian, I'm going to speak to John in Orlando. Hi, John. How are you? Hi, Basil. How are you? I haven't spoken to you in a long time. Yeah, how are you doing? Good, good. Uh, you know, I I owned a I owned a firm until today. I sold out. I I made a lot of profit out of it. It just uh, it took off. It took off from the '60s, and I just sold today. Took my profit. Uh, I just wanted to see the ABC it's doing. So can I ask you a question? You must have had a reason for selling. You sold everything today. I, I thought today's uh, move of $10, and I saw the uh, the indicators, uh, slow statistics way up there, and also on the NASDAQ, the slow statistics. And so I'm thinking that it's going to reverse the market, the NASDAQ, so it's going to go down. But I want to go back in. I want to get back in. So I want you to so, look at it. So I'm going to make a suggestion. But first of all, I need to tell everyone, we're looking at a firm holding. It was an IPO uh, about 12 months ago. It, it went from the 140, 146.90 area uh, straight down to 46.50 in May. It made a beautiful cup formation. I've, I've been showing this to subscribers to my opening call for some time. Here's what, look what we're looking at here, green. And I'm making this uh, style the dash line. It had a chap inside wedge target resistance line. It kept going up to it. And I had what I call a left side, right side cup formation, a little bit uneven, but a cup formation nevertheless from the 146.90 level down to 46.50 with an H pattern that was successful. And then it turns around and the target was 146.90. Well, it touched that last week. And today's Monday, the first day of the next week, a month. Uh, sorry, the next week in the same month, and it's spiked much higher. It's gone to leg. I'm calling this a leg. E. There's a chance with this stock. It is such a fantastic stock that it's a trap wave instant restart. This is an E slash A. But it doesn't necessarily matter in the weekly right yet what we're looking at in terms of the notation. The MACD is strong. The stochastic is love. I love a flat stochastic above uh, 85, especially above 90 percent. And this is at 91 percent. The, the nine period moving average is way above the 14 period moving average. The monthly chart is broken out to an official leg A in a buy mode. It says it should still go to a B, a C, and a D going into 2022. I like it now on a short term basis. That's the reason why I asked you what 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 provoked you to to say I'm getting out of this because I don't see what I, to tell you. Just you asked my opinion about the stock. I'm going to say. I would probably have kept, if you were prepared to get out of the whole thing, I would have said I would sell half and I would keep half. Or I would sell a third and another third 
I would put in a stop. It's at 157 right now. As you said, it's up 10. And I would make the stop somewhere around the 135, 127 area and try to keep that core position. There's a good reason why I'm saying that because it's in this interest-free, interest-bearing loan. It has partners that provide interest-free payment plans. It's really, uh, it's a kind of a different phenomenon to, phenomenon to what we're used to. They're trying to uh, discourage the use of traditional credit cards. It's just, I don't understand it fully, but I, I've, I've read about it to say that it is a little innovative in its whole concept and in, in the actual functioning of that concept. And that really is important. So you're already out of it. Now the question is, what do you do? So I'm going to say, it's, I've got this as a leg C. So it could have a bit, it could go higher, but it should make a peak C, meaning a lower high bar, and then a leg D. And that's when it could possibly turn around and start to digest gains. But if you have run it up all the way and taken really big profits, the only two ways that I think right now that I would play play this particular, and I call it play at this particular point because you're in the process of thinking, well, it's time for a consolidation. The stock doesn't know that it's time for a consolidation. Just us looking at it visually says, hey, so I'm going to suggest that on any pullback, you just start a little bit of a position. That's all you do. You just go back in because this has the potential because fund managers are looking at this and saying, why would I want to go into something that's risky, like a Boeing or what, something completely different? This is in the area that's working right now. And then they usually stay in it, especially my rule of thumb is that stocks make all time highs tend to stay on that list for a little while. So I'd actually like to see you at least be in it, but I don't want to be I see you going at 157.52 and all of a sudden it's trading at 127 and you've lost $30 on a new trade. So I'm just saying to you, I think that having a foot in the door, it just makes you more active as a participant as rather than an observer. So on the right. next pullback over the next week, if you it's 157. If you can get it anywhere, just a little like a starter position to get your foot back in the door, somewhere between 144 and 139, that means the market's going to have to take quite a bit of a dip. All oh, interest rates are going to do something. But that's my suggestion. Try to get back in so that you're participating with it, but just a very small amount, something that says, you know, I'm just, it's like a feeler to, to see when I want to put back a much bigger position. That might turn out to be hard because it's just in play. It's a, it's a, look, it has a gap in a weekly charge. You hardly ever see that way back in uh, somewhere in uh, August, in September. And it doesn't even get close to filling in the gap in the 80s. So this is really on fire. This is participating. Uh, it probably if you had called me before you got out, I would have said, take a little bit off, raise your stop on another portion that you're very comfortable getting out of and try to keep a core. That's too late. I'm saying now you have to reprogram the whole thing. So I'm, I'm just suggesting that you try to get in. Uh, today's low is 146, probably in the 142 to 139 area. Just tiptoe in and maybe call my show. We'll look at it again. But I would like to see you in this in this particular phase. I hope that helps you. The uh, market as a whole, the NASDAQ, uh, do you think there's more upside here? The, the NASDAQ is the laggard. If anything is going to, the semiconductors and the, and the NASDAQ are really going to be the clues by Friday of this week. If there is a turnaround, if the, if the QQQ index 100 takes out, is at 372, any day it touches 364, says, uh-oh, we started that consolidation again, and that will be an impact to the Dow, to the S&P, because it will be a drag on the market. But I think the market is going to start getting used to the diversity. I'll be talking about this in my show, in my, my uh, webinar tomorrow night between 4 and 5.30, how the market is going to start to get used to, as it did before when the index was leading, and you had the IWM lagging, the Dow was lagging. It took a long time. It took from March before the Dow really broke, uh, broke decisively to the upside. So I think the NDX is probably going to be the laggard coming in, and we will start to see uh, some leadership in the Dow 30, and we're going to see the S&P next, 
and the IWM would probably be a laggard, and the QQQs could be the one that is the most disappointing. I, I think that's the way I'm looking at it. I hope I helped you. All right, thank you for the info. Thank you very much for calling. I appreciate that. Uh, folks, that's John Orlando looking at the firm. And we'll be back now. Dow, Dow's only down 19, S&P 17. I'll do a little wrap up when we get back because this is the way I'm looking at the market. Maybe, maybe that's something to be interested. See you in a few minutes. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, billable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. Just to wrap up, this is Basil Chapman sitting for Tom O'Brien. And I uh, just wanted to mention again that I'll be doing my webinar tomorrow from 4 to uh, 5.30. And if you are really interested in it, it's, uh, it's really a good time to be doing something like this. I uh, just do this quickly. Uh, there it is. Um, there. And what we're looking at here, so it'll be tomorrow, what to prepare for into year's end and what sectors to focus on. Of course, if you don't know anything that I do, let me just do this quickly. Bank of America, we've been along, we do, we've done this every year. We, we run in the, from, from the 30, 20-something area into the 30s, and then we try to get back in. This year, we got in the 31.19. It's trading at 46.27. Uh, uh, it's not an all-time high, but it's it's a recovery high. It's too fantastic, but it is in leg D. Uh, I had a question uh, just a moment ago about PayX. is one that we got in fairly new stock for us. P-A-Y-X, P-A-Y-X. Uh, there it is. 
a very strong leg up today at 120.16. We're in at 113s. So this is only a leg B, and it's just broken out. See, this, I love it when stocks make the cup formation and then break out, and that should go to at least a D. We'll see, and this is the daily chart, leg E. So it's looking very good, all-time high as we speak. Got a number of stocks at all-time highs, and uh, we're also trying to – we just missed one today. It's actually up almost $5, and we just missed it. Pity about that. So what we are looking at is this is a very unusual time. There are stocks that really work. Uh, the questions come up about the steel stocks. When should we get in? I'll be talking about the steel stocks. I'll be talking about low price stocks. I'll be talking about stocks that are under the radar and the chart patterns we're looking at. Uh, I'll talk about the positions that we have, why we want to keep them, and uh, why we've only taken profits when we've still kept the core positions. It's really important in this particular phase, going to the end of the year, can this keep up? I mean, the news could be just terrible, and yet the market is climbing a wall of worry as we speak. The SP is up 16. So have a wonderful day. Check out my open call, my daily newsletter, and also the webinar coming up tomorrow. And uh, all I can say is, uh, we're trying to follow the chart patterns as much as we can. Let's see if we can continue to do that. Have a wonderful evening. See you tomorrow. My Tiger Technician's hour is at 10 o'clock in the morning. Have a great day.